feng shui, a Chinese tradition which began thousands of years ago, is still important to Hong Kong. Feng shui idealizes balance among the five elements, metal, wood, earth, fire, and water. In Hong Kong, many people follow feng shui every day. One way to make sure feng shui is right is to interpret it through a person's birthday. Hong Kong feng shui master Raymond Lo makes a living explaining relationships like this. We look at their birthdays. Uh, people's birthday, we can translate them into elements. And once you translate them into elements, we can understand the person like reading a book. The time, day, month, and year each have different Chinese elements attached to them. In Lo's feng shui class, he explains that your birthday, or element composition, interacts with different times throughout your life. Local shop worker Fergus Chen says his shop was designed using feng shui to promote prosperity in the store. There's a dragon head and turtle body statue in the front of the shop near the corner called Long Gui, which is believed to attract good fortune and money. Just like people, buildings have birthdays too. Hong Kong's HSBC building is famous for its use of feng shui. The two lions, Stit and Stefan, in front of the building were originally placed to mock the success of the sister bank in Shanghai. They were removed during the Second World War and then returned a few years later. Many believe the return of the lions was symbolic to the return of prosperity to the bank and the area. Feng Shui master Raymond Lo believes Hong Kong is so prosperous due to its location at the intersection of mountains and water. And Hong Kong is exactly where the mountains stop and the water begin. So therefore, it's exactly fulfill the condition of wind and water. Lo explained that wind can blow away energy and mountains provide shelter from the wind. On the other hand, water carries energy from the mountains and settles at the base. The lifeline of Hong Kong is actually this Victoria Harbor, the water in Victoria Harbor. Harmonizing birthdays, buildings and location all add up when it comes to good feng shui. And that's been good fortune for Hong Kong. For the Center County Report, I'm Megan Swikowski.